Welcome to the uh, NHRA East Delaware East Coast Nationals as we are here for a historic event of NHRA stop motion racing. For the first time since 1979, this track is opening for its first event. Let's take a look at qualifying. John Force put up a number of 3.755. Now up first is Top Fuel. And first pair out is, uh, we did the burnouts. Corey Mack is your number one qualifier mm -hmm. and Duck Little mm -hmm. number six qualifier. As the cars are lined up, ready to start this uh, first ever uh, Top Fuel event. And there they go. Oh, Duck Coletta blows up, and there goes Corey Mack for the win. 3.695. He's all right. And there comes your second pair of, of Top Fuel. Brandon Bursey, number five qualifier. Ashley Force Hood, number two qualifier. And the Mattel Toy Store Machine. And just look at that beast. And here we go. The first female to um, enter drag race. Here we go. Here she goes, I meant. Wow, good launch by Ashley Force. Oh, and parachutes goes to Brandon Bernstein. He's a, he's done. And that's Ashley Force of taking the win. What a great start. And here comes Steve Torrance and Tony Schumacher, our last and final pair of top fuel. Before we head on to Funny Car, number three and number four qualifier. Man, Tony didn't even get a good run in, well, for his top fuel pair. And there he goes, right down the start. Great drag race. And it's going to be Steve Torrance. Will he get it? Yes, he will. Wow. There's a look at your, um, as the uh, top fuel ladder. Brandon Bursting will come back as fast as loser. Next time out, it's the funny car. Now let's take a look at the funny car uh, ladder. John Force, Jerry Tolliver, Kenny Bernstein, Dean Scusa, Tony Pentagon, Robert Hyde, Gary Dentum, and up first, and Cruz Pentagon. Up first now is Kenny Bernstein and Dean Scusa as they do their burnouts right now. Ready to burn out, and here's your number seven qualifier and your number two qualifier that's coming off first here in Funny Car of round one. As we, um, the, as whoever um, makes it from this eight will move on to the, uh, um, to the final four. It's the stage, and here we go! Ready for the lights? Oh, Dean Scusa goes up in smoke, he's done. Kenny Bernstein will take the win. As he shuts down, and here comes John Forster, number one qualifier against Jerry Tolliver in that Cactus Jack funny car. Number eight qualifier, a WWF funny car. And the number num number one qualifier, you're looking at him, the seven-time champ funny car car. Here we go. Wait for the lights. John always likes the stage for last, and Jerry Tolliver, he's done. And that's going to be John Force all the way to the line. Nice job by Force. And here comes Gary Dentum in the McDonald's car and Cruz Pentagon in the double uh, AP, the Advanced Auto Parts Machine. The number five qualifier and number four qualifier. Wait for the lights. There they go. Down the straight. Let's see who's going to pick. It's going to be a drag race and close to the line. Gary Dentum. All right, your final pair, and that's going to be Tony Pedragon and Robert Height. Pedragon, and we saw his brother lost, and now let's see who um, um wins this match. I'm um, my bets are going on Tony, right here, and there he goes down the straight. Tony's got it; he might have it. Oh, Robert almost came back, and then Tony Pedragon's going to win it. Coming up is Top Fuel Dragsters and Pro Stock Round Two after this commercial break. And this proud sponsor of the NHRA is brought to you by Craft Sticks, the official sponsor of the NHRA Delaware East Coast Nationals. It's made of like wood. It looks like wood. And um, um, we're back after that crazy commercial. Semi-final action of Top Fuel is now Corey Mack, Ashley Force, Steve Torrance, and we got brought back Brent Ferrandon, Brandon Bursey as Fast Loser. And there you got to look at the ladders. Um. And now, uh, as we go up with our, as we begin our first pair, which is now Corey Mack and Ashley Force Hood, as they do the burnouts and uh, Ashley Force on the right, Corey Mack on the left, and that McDonald's paint scheme, and the Mattel sponsor on the right. Beautiful looking cars, and uh, let's see who wins and go on down to the finals. And there they go! Wow! Take a look at down the bat, down the straight, and it's gonna be. 
actually force Hun? Does she got it? Yes, she does. She advances to the finals, but who will her opponent be? Steve Torrance or the fast loser? Brandon Bernstein, this is the final pair before we go to pro stocks round one. Who will advance to the finals to take on Ashley Force? As a stage, there they go. Final pair of top fuel, here we go. Before, so that we can advance to the finals and then do pro stock afterwards. And then it's going to be Steve Torrance. As the jet dryers are out to prepare for top um, for pro stock, let's go take a commercial break, and we'll be back um, with our um, um, take a commercial break and be back for our, um, um, from our sponsors. Need Zyrtec real bad? Come down and get some uh, um, Zyrtec and for your allergies. Zyrtec helps get rid of allergies while racing. All right, and here we go with um, Pro Stock Ladder. Here, go, um, here we have four drivers: Greg Anderson, Vincent Nobile, Alex Laughlin, and Warren Johnson. Um, round out your Pro Stock grit, uh, Ladder, and now we uh, continue on for Pro Stock uh, as they're going to come off the line. Vincent Nobile and Greg Anderson come to the line. Your number one qualifier and your number four qualifier on the right and on the left. And now as we um, continue on for the NHRA Delaware East Coast Nationals, if you're um, watching this, I hope you do. Please subscribe, and here they go. Please subscribe, and uh, please like this video if you do, if you want to see more NHRA action. And there it goes, down the stripe, and it's going to be Greg Anderson taking the win. Coming up now is Alex Laughlin and Warren Johnson, this last pair for Pro Stock of Round 1. And uh, Warren Johnson coming out of retirement, and Alex Laughlin taking over Vincent Nobile's ride, and Vincent Nobile taking over his ride. Three stage, here we go. Down the stripe. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, close side by side drag race. Can we have a close finish right here? Oh, Warren Johnson, as they clean up the mess. Um, and get ready for Funny Car. We'll take a commercial break for our, another commercial break for our Zyrtec sponsor. Stay with us. Need Zyrtec real bad? Come down and get some uh, um, Zyrtec and, for your allergies. Zyrtec helps get rid of allergies while racing. And we're back after uh, a long commercial break. And uh, as we take a look at the Funny Car ladder right now, John Forrest, Kenny Bernstein, and Tony Pe um, is our first pair. And then Tony Pentagon and Gary Dencham is our second pair of, of, of Funny Car in round two semifinals. As uh, they will come up to the line now. Well, uh, first of all, before uh, we show you guys that as they come up to the line now to do their burnouts, um, going to quickly remind you, uh, we accidentally skipped, uh, the, uh, the top fuel and the, uh, in the, uh, funny car final, um, burnout session. So apologies for that, guys. Just want to let you know, you know, um, in this, in the middle of this video. So let's get right to it. And, um, uh, as, um, they come out right now to do their burnouts, um, uh, um, for this final, um, for this, um, semi-final action. There they go. John Force, your 16-time Funny Car Champion on the left. Kenny Bernstein on the right. Two great masters of the sport. Two great legends. Semi-finals number one is about to start. As a stage, Sean always likes the stage last. There they go. There's why. Great launch. Great start by John Force. Will he do it? He will! John Force wins and moves to the finals, but who will his opponent be? That's the qu big question. Either Tony Pentagon and his own teammate, and the sideways Gary Dencham on the burnout, as we can begin semifinal number two. Gary Dencham on the right, Tony Pentagon on the left. Who will it be? We'll find out. Mm. Here we go. And there they go. Down the stripe. Oh, Gary Dencham blows up! Tony Pejikon wins! As they um, get the jet dryers um, to come out, let's um, begin. Um, we'll take a look at the pro stock ladder as it comes by, if it comes by really quick. Sooner rather than later. And there, oh, there it is. And here's the pro stock ladder for you guys. The finals 
of the of for Greg Anderson and Warren Johnson. They are the final two to come out for Pro Stock as we begin the finals for all three: Pro Stock, Top Fuel, and Funny Car. Long burnouts for these two legends. Greg Anderson, Warren Johnson, two great masters of the sport. As we begin the finals, who will win at Del for the Delaware East Coast Nationals? And here we go. Staged. Here we go. Side by side. Look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Greg Anderson. Del Greg Anderson wins the Delaware East Coast Nationals as we begin top fuel. The burnouts have just been completed. And for Ashley Force Hood and Steve Torrance. Here we go. It's finals time for these two. Ashley Force, the first woman ever since T Melanie Troxa won in top fuel. Will she do it? We will find out. Melanie Troxel never won um, a top fuel event ever since her debut back in 2006. But will Ashley Force do it? Can she? She can! Ashley Force, the first female to win in f top fuel in Delaware. That is incredible. But now it's time for Funny Car. As they come up to the line, a legend and an old teammate, Tony Pedragon and John Force. This is it. This is one for all the money. Right here. Two great masters. And there they go! Oh my goodness, this is a great matchup right here, but it doesn't matter. John Force, like always, he wins the Delaware East Coast Nationals in Funny Car. Thank you guys so much for watching. There's your uh, three winners right there. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, I appreciate it, guys. Please hit that like button. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. This is Tristan Racing Fan 2000. Out.